Hey, and welcome back. So today, on today's video, in today, in my kitchen, <laughs> we are gonna be, um, you know, this actually, have you ever, like, do you ever know how to do something? Like, it's something you do regularly, but then you, like, I forget that I didn't know how to do this. And I used to buy it, but once I learned, I was just like, oh my goodness, why would I ever pay twice the amount of this at the store? And I get so many, when I'm working with clients and this shows up on one of our menus inside of one of our groups, they will say, how do you make that? Do you just buy that? And I'm like, no, you make it. But I forget that anyway. So today I am gonna show you how to very simply, very quickly, rice cauliflower. Um, cauliflower is like the miracle food on the planet. Like you can turn cauliflower into pizza dough. You can make it into gnocchi. You can make it into breadsticks. You can make it into a rice. Now, with that being said, does a cauliflower pizza crust taste exactly like a deep dish pizza crust? No. Does cauliflower rice taste exactly like rice? Not a chance. Does anything cauliflower taste exactly like the stuff filled with butter and flour? No, but it's a really good substitute and it's a fraction of the calories. And so we are gonna start with an entire head of cauliflower, just like this. Don't You don't have to buy the florets from the store. Anytime you buy something that's already prepared, you're gonna pay more for it. So if you buy the cauliflower that's already been cut up, you're gonna pay more per ounce. If you buy the cauliflower in the store, that's already riced, you're gonna pay more for it. So you can buy the whole head and very simply make it um, in your house. So let's go ahead and cut up some cow, rice up some cauliflower. Before we do that, if you have not hit the subscribe button, you hit that red button, make it turn gray, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our cooking tips, our weight loss tips, our fit tips, and make sure to hit the like button, you know, the thumbs up button. Uh, it really, really, really helps out our channel and I would greatly appreciate it. So I know you just did all that, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and cut up some cauliflower and get it riced. I like to take the cauliflower and just cut it right down the middle. Watch your fingers, keep those out of the way. Just cut it down the middle and open it up. That's gonna make it really easy to get all these florets off. So then I just take a knife and take it kind of around that core, just like that. And that's gonna allow you to pull the florets of cauliflower right off, just like that. And then anything that's left, you just, there you go. That's how easy it is to get that off of half of. So we're gonna repeat that on the other half. And there we have it. In less than a minute, we have our entire head of cauliflower off of the core. The Cuisinart 14 cup food processor I have had this for a decade. It has been Miss Trusty, reliable, amazing. Okay, so we're gonna start with our blade attachment inside of our food processor. And we are, the most important part when you're doing this is you don't wanna put too much inside of the food processor. Otherwise it won't all rice. So you want just the bottom covered. If you put too much in, it will not rice evenly. So we're gonna put our top on and we're gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna pulse it a couple times. Until we get rice-like consistency. And if you open it up and you see a couple big pieces, you just need to pulse them. And there we go. You can see it's a rice-like consistency. We're gonna take it out and just pour that into a bowl. And then we're gonna repeat more cauliflower. Perfect.
load it up and repeat again. And there is our riced up cauliflower rice. Beautiful, easy to make. So now that our cauliflower rice is done, there's a couple different things you can do with it. You can, depending on how big of a family you're feeding, um, like my family, you can make fried rice out of this, add your onions, everything you would normally add to fried rice, but use this as a rice substitute. You can make Mexican rice out of this. You can, whatever, literally whatever you, if you go onto Pinterest, if you look at some of the things, um, if you just search Pinterest, cauliflower rice recipes, and they're gonna give you, there's so many good ones. Um, maybe maybe we'll do some different cauliflower rice versions here on the channel. Let me know if there's a particular kind you wanna see. I do have some favorites, and um, then I have some that I've tried to do, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really enjoy that. But, so you can cook it like this. It'll stay good in the fridge like this for typically up to, I would say, three to seven days, depending on how fresh your cauliflower is, but you definitely wanna use it within a week of ricing it. So, or you can freeze it. So a lot of times I will take a single, if I'm not gonna use it up right away, I will take a single serving of cauliflower rice and I'll put it inside of a Ziploc bag, just like this. And I'll add some garlic inside of it and I will throw this in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. And then I have a single serving if I wanna make a lunch. You can get it out, toss it in a pan, um, saute it up with some with some Bragg's amino acids, some coconut aminos, which are really delicious, some soy sauce, some tomato sauce, you know, really whatever, but it's an amazing rice substitute. So, and I'm gonna throw these right in the freezer. And then the next couple weeks, when I need them, when I need a single serving of rice, they will be right there for me to, for me to use. All about making life easier. Look, losing weight, getting healthy, eating less calories. A lot of times the reason why we go for fast food is because it's fast and it's convenient. So if you make your healthy options fast and convenient, you're more, you're more apt to reach for them when, when you're busy living life. So anyway, if you have not, I'm sure you have by now, but if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to do that. Give the video a thumbs up and check out some of our other cooking videos. We have Oh my goodness, we've made low calorie peanut butter fudge. We've made a protein packed pizza. Um, we got ice cream, uh, a low fat, low calorie ice cream. Or the Anyway, lots of different good healthy stuff here on the channel, as well as weight loss tips, fitness tips, and all of that. So we will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Toodaloo.